name is Ashley Marco. I'm a freshman from Waverly High School. Goose. And these are things I want to tell my father, but probably never will. You only tell me you're proud of me when I clean my room. I know it doesn't happen often, so my room usually has my little sister's Barbies strewn across the floor among the maybe, maybe not dirty clothes. And I know my bed is never made, and even when it is, it still looks like a mattress with a worn down sheet and way too many pillows thrown on top, which is exactly what it is. And I know there's an empty box of crackers by my bed simply because I haven't thrown it away yet, and I know everything is messy, not just my room. My book bag has papers crumbled at the bottom, all my pencils have disappeared, and even my handwriting is messy and strays from the lines. My lack of orderliness means I can only organize when I have motivation, and even if I have incentive to clean, I lose it before you can say distraction. But I don't find motivation in the prospect of you telling me you're proud. In fact, it pisses me off. Fathers are supposed to be proud of their daughters when they defy anxiety, get up on a stage and drop their words into a mic with confidence, no matter how vain that confidence is. But I know if I look out into this crowd, I won't see you. Fathers are supposed to be proud of their daughters when they get excited about their almost straight-A report card, but you don't even listen to me when I tell you how I learned how to conjugate irregular verbs in Spanish or how I learned stage directions in theater. You don't even bother to re read my report cards. Fathers are supposed to be proud of their daughters when they play their bass clarinet skillfully, but you use your job as an excuse to miss my concerts, and I hope you know that's a lame excuse for an excuse. Fathers are supposed to be proud of their daughters for simply living and breathing, but you... You're only proud of me when I clean my room. I know, you aren't really proud to have me as a daughter, but I'm not proud to be your daughter. I'm not proud of my lying, negligent, apathetic, yellow-bellied manipulator of a father. I'm not proud of the man who was supposed to take me fishing, but instead took me to his girlfriend's house and drank his way to ignorant bliss, leaving me to spend some time with the woman who broke apart my parents' marriage. I'm not proud of you. I am not proud of you. You took my awe for the world and turned it into fear and doubt. You turned me into a monster. No, not the kind of monster who hides under children's beds and terrorizes their bedtime thoughts. The kind of monster who hides inside herself instead, clawing at the facade of okay to get to the angry. This little monster looked just like every other fourth grader, but her mind was littered with thoughts no nine-year-old should have, like the best way to kill herself. Maybe she could casually step in front of a speeding bus or down some of her mom's mood swing pills or just look up how to tie a noose on the internet and use one of her jump ropes to end it all. I'm frozen in that flawed state of being and I don't know how to be proud of myself like that. I'm trying, but my wings are fragile. I go from the top of the world to the bottom of my mind and it takes me days to get back to loving my monstrous self. It takes me weeks to get back to being pleasantly out of place instead of a sum of flaws. It takes me months to break free of my mind to be proud of myself again, but I am there now. I am proud of myself right now, so next time I clean my room, you don't have to bother to tell me you're proud. I don't need you to be. Yeah.